So guys, Keaton A47 here, and today I am going to unbox these really cool Super Mario Bros. original figures that was, you know, made by Metacom, and they're not they're not like Amiibo. They're similar, but they're not. Uh, they're really cool vintage old figures. Uh, they're not vintage, but they will be in 20 years, I bet. Uh, they they're made to look like it because it's their old designs from the 80s, which looks really cool. It's not like the red the red blue hat Mario that we have nowadays. And uh, yeah, so we got Mario and we got Luigi. So without further ado guys, I'm gonna take a little break to open these and uh, I'll cut back to you know opening them. Alright guys, so I cut it I cut it off and I noticed that I can take off this, which you know, for me me as a collector I can, you know, appreciate. So yeah. Let me see. Take them out like that. And there we go. That's Mario. Unlike Amiibos, they don't stay on the stand, but you can just put them on the stand, which is cool. And then, yeah, the, I'm going to leave them be right there, but I'll display them right in a bit. And let's get kept, you know, cut back to Luigi. Alright, so I got Luigi open. Let's see. Making a huge mess, guys. But I don't care. It's my setup. But so yeah, Luigi. Oh, uh, he be okay. This one's still sticking in. His that's cool. That's cool. So yeah, that's Luigi, guys. I'll do an in-depth, you know, review once I have them together. So let's put them right next to each other. So we got Mario right here. And we got Luigi over here. So first of all, let's look at, you know, Mario since, you know, he's the main brother. So first of all, I really like his expression. It it captures the essence of the uh, the original Mario that he used to look like in 1983. Came out in 1983, I think. I think July 14th. Uh, and I just, I just really like the detail because when I compare these to Amiibos, these look a lot better. Like that Link one is the same company from that makes these figures, which I really, really do appreciate. Uh, the quality in this figure looks pretty good, you know, especially for like a $20 figure. And I really like his expression because he looks kind of scared. And you know, Luigi's supposed to be a scared one, but you know, back in the day they didn't know that. So yeah, that is Mario, and I and I, I really like the colors in him. It just pops, you know what I mean? And uh, let's move on to Luigi. So we got Luigi right here. And fun fact, this was his first ever appearance in, you know, like this was his first star in, in, uh, in a video game. And it was in Mario Bros. from 1983. And you can tell he's like a palace swap of Mario. Like you can tell, you know, when you compare both of them, they look very similar. Like Luigi's kind of, you know, like kind of thick like him. But like, you know, you can tell they look kind of different in a way. So like, they're similar. And when I compare it to Luigi from nowadays, he looks a lot better nowadays because he's more skinnier, he's more, you know, uh, tanned, he's a lot different. You know what I mean? Same with Mario. If I compare another figure I have, he looks, you know, a lot more happier and less chubbier. You know what I mean? And uh, I really like the attention to detail and the evolution of these characters, you know, coming to life. You know, you know, making them like an icon of gaming nowadays, and I really like that. And just again, the detail, you know, amazing, just just amazing. Fun fact: the day of this recording is July 14th, and the game came out in July 14th. So it's like a coincidence, you know, that I just bought these. So yeah, guys, these are the you know the, Super, the Mario Bros. figures that are based, you know, on the original from 1983 which came out, you know, July 14th, 1983. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye.